Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. Ten more minutes to the chief building action without the drama. Okay, people, I have been working on my vertical step. I know this here up here don't look too good, but it's going to mold nice. This is just that clear fiberglass. You can see some of the glue underneath it. But it came out pretty good, actually. So I did it in two layers. See, the first layer is a little bit bigger. than that second one's like that. That's how it looks on that plastic model, anyway. And I got this glued on. I'm just going to do a little filling. I had a little miscalculation there. <laughs> I was making that. Remember that piece I made? Looks pretty good on there. Got the little tail light lens in the back. But I'm going to do a little filling now. I got all these pieces sanded. Panel lines are done. They came out pretty good. Yeah, it's, uh, they look pretty good. Not a lot of panel lines, but enough. You know. That's nice. That's ready to mold. I've got all these parts ready to mold. Tomorrow we're going to start on some parting planes. I'm going to show you guys how to do this. So pay attention. That coming. Okay. But for tonight, I'm just sitting here watching Philly put the whooping on Washington. Man, that Michael Vick. That guy's got something to prove. <laughs> all them people who threw him in jail. <laughs> that guy's on a mission. Man. Five foot touchdowns, first half. Yeah. Three throwing and two a running. He's always fun to watch, man. That Michael Vick. Bootleg. I'll tell you what. I don't know why more quarterbacks. Don't use that bootleg like Steve Young did. Steve Young made it from San Fran. Made a career out of that day bootleg. And it always treated him good. You guys ever notice that? He'd just say hi and take off running towards the sideline. If uh, the defenders covered the receivers, he'd run. If they came after him, he'd chuck the ball. And, you know, they won that Super Bowl doing that. You hardly see anyone using that bootleg like Steve Young did, and I don't know why. And come Michael Vick. Okay. Now I just kind of pile this resin high. See here on this back edge. Okay, I'm just going to leave it like that. It's just not working. Okay? The more you work that Bondo, the worse it gets, man. That Bondo, if you can just go splat and leave it alone and get away with it, you know, that's for, the more you go over it, it starts pulling it out. Your spot gets bigger and starts going down. And before you know it, you got to do it twice. And, you know, if you can just do that Bondo one pass, and, and leave it alone and work with it, <laughs> that's when you're fast. But I'm just gonna let that set up just a little bit. And I'm just gonna trim it with my razor blade. come in and take a razor blade to this stuff and just do anything you want to it. But uh, it, it's a small window, you know. But it's just at the rubbery stage, real rubbery. You can just tear it. Almost there, about another minute.
But I'm going to go ahead and hit this with primer and hit that with primer. I, it's just that always that Bondo always wants to stick inside your mold, you know. I'm doing here, and I just want it to come out clean. So I've been thinking about mixing me up just a little bit of primer. That's our only spot I need to do. Okay, we're there, man. You guys watching? You see this? No, we're just go. Bam. Bam. Especially these places where you can't really get a piece of sandpaper in there. It's these edges need to be sharp and you know a piece of sandpaper ain't going to give it that sharp edge back in that corner hey what y'all think of that walking dead movie last night the zombie flick that's pretty good wasn't it the dude sawed his hand off, man. I can't figure out why he didn't use that hot saw on that little piece of <laughs> little piece of pipe there. He was or the bolt. It was just a long bolt. He was handcuffed too. But why would you cut off your hand with the hacksaw instead of cutting that bolt? <laughs> That's a pretty good old zombie movie, though. Walking Dead, whatever, on AMC. Some guy was talking about the original uh, movie that I Am Legend was copied off of in the comments. You see that? Um, you know, I can't never say that I have seen the original I Am Legend. Is it like a black and white? I'd like to watch that. I'm going to have to look that up. I like the vampire movies too. The good ones, you know. I'm not really a Twilight fan. I watch Twilight, but it's not quite I don't like the good vampires, I like the evil ones. <laughs> Boy, you took your blood. You want no dang Oprah loving vampire. On Twilight, I bet you vampires watch Oprah. <laughs> <laughs> Just give them the look, man. Girls fall in love. Okay. Now we're about to end the end of our window, but kind of got that trimmed how I want it. See that lip that was a little short? Bam! I just fixed it. And it uh, looks good. Now I just hit that with some. Uh, some wore out 220. I don't want to go too rough on it. Got my 600. That's what I used to sand my panel lines down. I didn't show that because you guys have seen that so many times. I just wanted to focus and get it done. And, but these sets of parting planes here, I know you all seen me make parting planes before. But I'm going to turn that camera on and show you every step of the way on them parking planes. Got a couple people asking me a lot of questions out there the past couple days. And they look like they've been going through the movies and, and they're asking questions. And man, I tell you, a lot of them questions I've answered 300 times.